Okay. I was laughing at you too. I don't I don't dress in the greatest fashion because I'm going to let all these women know. I don't want you at all. I know a lot of escorts, females that's white, Asian, black, Spanish, even Muslim escorts, women's, all women's, because I pay for it. I don't care if I pay for it. I don't give a fuck. You know why I'm about to pay for it? Because I don't have to deal with you, and you don't have to deal with me. See, it's not you that's fucked up, women's. No, you women's are fucked up, but I'm more fucked up than you, and I wouldn't put you in a relationship with me. See, I don't dress in the greatest fashion. I want. I came out at 6 in the morning to go check my property that I'm having problems with, because I'm in... You know, in the problem right now. I ain't not going to talk about it. But I was wearing this. And y'all women, because y'all got a problem with it. <laughs> I don't want yous. I got enough strippers and escorts for a lifetime. And they come to see me for free now. When they're working or seeing another, doing a job, whatever, they stop by and see me. See, that's how I get my sex. I don't care for you. I don't want you. It, whatever I'm wearing, you think I want you. I don't want you ugly ass bitches. I already know who you're dating. And I don't care if you're black, white, Spanish, Asian. Muslim, I don't give a fuck about yous. Because you're dating piece of shit guys. You have kids with them. And you think I'm going to try to save you? <laughs> no. You made us dress like this homo shit. I, I got these fat dudes, right? Trying to diss me and they look like muffin tops. They fat as hell. And they look like muffin tops. Who the fuck are y'all trying to diss? So I laugh at these passport bros and these females because they like to throw at the black woman the most. Let me tell you something. I have a lot of Asian escorts. That's females. And and stripper friends. That's Asian women that strips. Asian women have the worst attitudes than a black woman. You swear that they're going to submit to you? <laughs> I want a traditional woman. My mother was traditional. You know nothing about a traditional woman. My aunties, my mother, I wish I had a traditional woman because I know how to treat them because my mother taught me how to treat them. You never had a traditional mother around you or traditional woman. You never saw one. First of all, no traditional woman is a house slave. I don't, my mother saw this, my mother said, that's not a traditional woman, that's a slave, okay, it's a difference, you see, my father, I love that guy to death, my father took care of all his kids, he didn't run, if he made kids with another woman, he took care of all of us, my father is the greatest father in the world, he didn't run from none of his responsibilities, none of it, but he stood with my mother, my mother was traditional, but when my father went to go do his dirt, you know what my mother said? You can stay with the kids. I'm going to go out with my sisters, and I'm going to go have my fun. And you know what my mother taught us, us kids? When we go out, when I go out, and he says, what's taking your mother more so long? Tell him, why the fuck you care, motherfucker? And she allowed us to curse at our father because she said, you could treat him like shit now. Because now he has to hear it. That's the way my that's a, a real traditional woman. You know nothing about traditional ones. My mother said I would have never stand for none of these motherfucking shit. They gonna bow down on their knees to me. I'm not bowing down to you. You're bowing down to me because a real traditional woman is a tough woman. You know nothing about traditional women. You know nothing. So what before y'all start your passport boys telling, I'm looking for a traditional, no, you're not. Because there ain't no difference between a black woman or a Spanish woman or an Asian woman or a white woman. They all have the same attitudes. I got 10 sisters in my family. The reason why I stay alone, I have a fucked up attitude. When I look in the mirror and the reason why I know I'm by myself, it's me. It's not the woman's fault. It's me. There is shady women out there that do fucked up things. Now, I know, like I told you, I have a lot of stripper and escort friends. And they do fucked up things. I, and I, I know it because I'm cool with them, but they don't do it to me because, you know, they... We we got along. I've been paying for them in the beginning. I stopped paying, and it's, we're just friends now. But I know how they act. And they know how I act. You see, they know, oh, it can't be when nobody is fucked up. When, when black women bash men, it's not coming from the red bones or the light-skinned ones. I give you a percentage. The red bones and light-skinned girls are doing it 10%. 90% they're not doing it because I hear them do this. So they make a lot of money if, they, if they're doing the escorts. 
It's different type of black women that do this. It's not coming from the chocolate women. It's not coming from them either. It, that's a 95% they're not and 5% they are. It's coming from the brown skin sisters. See, I told you, I'm, I'm from Jersey City. I grew up around a lot of black females. I mess with a lot of black females. And the light, the brown skin sisters do this a lot. This is 95% chance they doing this, disrespecting black men and men of all kind, and 5% they're not. A lot of my brown skin friends that's escorts, they they couldn't make a lot of money. And they never understand why the white guy or, or the Spanish guys, they can never really get them too much. I said, no, they want you sisters, but it's yous. Stop disrespecting men in front of them. I had to teach them when you get rage, when you're watching a TV show or movie, that, oh, yeah, men ain't shit. Stop saying that in front of them because they like to say that a lot. So I was teaching them that really when you go to Puerto Rico, they tell you, oh, they want the white girl with the blonde hair and blue eyes. That's not true. When you go to Puerto Rico, they want you black women. They really want you black women. The men over there really want you. But the thing is, if one has a fucked up attitude, they think, oh, they all have fucked up attitudes. And that's not true. I try to teach them because I know the difference. So I try to tell them, no, it's not all of them. The, the, the chocolate woman, she puts her guard up. Because you disrespect the chocolate woman. The, the one that's dark skin, she's always going to put her guard up. Because she's always going to have that fence up. But I said, won't you go through that fence? They're the sweetest women you could be around. They're really sweet. I, a chocolate women, that's why when, every time I see a chocolate woman in the escort sites or whatever, all my chocolate women that's friends, that's strippers and do the escorts, the sweetest women you ever going to meet. And I can't understand why they do. I used to tell them, you two, y'all pretty, why are y'all doing this for and the, what's wrong with the light-skinned sisters, I had to break, I got to break this down. The red bones and the light-skinned ones, it's all about them. You know, they, they got the looks, they, you know, they're light-skinned. Oh, it's me, 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 me. But the brown-skinned sisters, ugh, it comes from them. And this is why these guys, but I'll go get your passport. Bro, you're not going to find nothing great over there. It's the same shit. These girls are not traditional. Those are slaves. And once they get tired of being the slaves, they start crying. They're going to break down. Like my mother said, they're going to break down. And I seen. A, I said, no, there's a couple of them that did break down, moms. She said, yeah, because that don't last. First of all, my father had to give my mother money. Traditional women, don't, if you want them to be a housewife, you got to pay them. You got to give them their own type of money. You got to give them. My father understood that. But he went out there and he still did his dirt. But he understood he still had to give my mother something. So y'all not traditional. Y'all know nothing about traditional women. You're a liar. You don't know shit. You didn't grow up in a traditional home. I did. I'm Anthony Clover, seems Business Talker. And if I'm not the greatest looking guy in the world, stop trying to, you can diss me outside all you want. I don't want you bitches outside. You could keep the dirty men you have outside. They're going to get you pregnant and that, that's not my problem. I live alone. I pay my own rent and I live in, I live in New Jersey. New Jersey got the highest rate rent in the world. I live close to Jersey City, and I'm from Jersey City, and I want to go back, but the rent is so high. I do everything on my own. I pay my own bills and everything. I don't want you chicks. And this is why my stripper friends and my escort friends, these women don't understand why I'm still alone. It's because you bitches want something that I can't give you. You want a guy to have it all. And if any chick tells you she wants more than six figures, that's a chick I would never want. She's not worth it. And even if I was rich, girl, and you saying y'all want more than six figures, I would never fucking mess with you, even if I was filthy rich, because it's not worth it. I'm Anthony Clover, seeing good talk. Join us here today.